So you guys want to learn about aliens, huh? Well, we're going to learn about aliens this whole goddamn week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm posting a video every week about aliens. I didn't mean to say every week. Every day, I'm posting a video about aliens. Monday through Friday. This week only. Just for you guys. Because you guys want to know more about aliens. And so do I. Right now, we are going to watch the Fermi Paradox. Where are all the aliens? And I have to admit... If I have a little low energy, I'm a little nauseous. It's 3 a.m. Trying to knock out these videos for you guys. I'm trying to hit that 100 subs. I'm trying to do whatever it takes. Because you guys... You guys have been just killing it. Killing that subscribe button. And I want you guys to keep killing it. Hit that subscribe button, man. You guys are my bosses. My career on YouTube goes nowhere without you guys. And I know that. And I will never forget that. Ever. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on, on my video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We always hit the thumbs up on here. I already did it because this is my second, third time recording this. Because... Like I said, not feeling that way. I got a whole bunch of water next to me. And we're going to learn about aliens. Don't forget, video requests down below in the comments. And I just want to take 10 seconds to tell you guys I love you. I love you guys so much for watching and supporting me. I'm telling you, man, a thousand subs by the end of this year. We can do it. We can blow the roof off of that, actually. And I believe it. And only you guys have that power. I don't have that power. All I can do is create entertaining content for you guys. Hopefully you guys like it and rock with me. Hope you guys are here to rock with me for a long time because I ain't going nowhere. Let's get right to these alien videos. The Fermi Paradox. Where the hell are all the goddamn aliens? Are we the only living things in the entire universe? The observable universe is about no, 90 we're not. billion lives. I'm going to answer that now. No, we're not the only things in the universe. I cheers in diameter. There are at least 100 billion galaxies, each with 100 to 1,000 billion stars. Recently, we've learned that planets are very common too. And there are probably trillions and trillions of habitable planets in the universe, which means Facts. there should be lots of opportunity for life to develop and exist, right? But where is it? Shouldn't the universe be teeming with spaceships? Let's take a step back. That'd be a little weird, though. Just got, like, the spaceship just looks like a highway. That'd be kind of cool, though. Weird, but cool. Even if there are alien civilizations in other galaxies, there's no way we'll ever know about them. Basically, everything outside of our direct galactic neighborhood, the so-called local group, is pretty much out of our reach forever because of the expansion yeah, of the universe. Even if we had really fast spaceships, it would literally take billions of years to reach these places. Wow. Traveling through the emptiest areas in the universe. So let's focus on the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our home galaxy. It consists of up to 400 billion stars. Damn. That's a lot of stars. Counting one per second, it would take you a hundred lifetimes to count them all. See, my thing is, there's that many stars. And you tell us we're the only living things in our solar system? Hell no. Nah. There are about 20 billion sun-like stars in the Milky Way, Damn. and estimates suggest that a fifth of them have an Earth-sized planet in its habitable zone, the area with conditions that enable life to exist. If only 0.1% of those planets harbored life, there would be 1 million planets with life in the Milky Way. So, my thing about this is, and tell me if I'm wrong or if you have a rebuttal, because I love you guys' rebuttals. My thing is, it's only habitable for us. Who's to say that there aren't people on the, there aren't aliens on the coldest planets because their bodies are used to it. They're used to it. They don't have the same exoskeleton we have or the same functions we have. So who's to say that every planet isn't habitable by some form of something that's living? You know what I mean? That's just my take. Let me know what you think. But wait, there's more. The Milky Way is about 13 billion years old. In the beginning, it would not have been a good place for life because things exploded a lot. Uh -oh. But after one to two billion years, the first habitable planets were born. Earth is only four billion years old, so there have probably been trillions of chances for life to develop on other planets in the past. Facts. If only a single one of them had developed into a space-traveling super-civilization, we would have noticed by now. 
What would such a civilization look like? There are three categories. Okay. A type one civilization would be able to access the whole energy available on its planet. In case you're wondering, we're currently around 0.73 on the scale, and we should reach type one sometime in the next couple of hundred years. Okay. Type two would be a civilization capable of harnessing all of the energy of its home star. This would require some serious science fiction, but it is doable in principle. Concepts like the Dyson Sphere, a giant complex surrounding the sun, would be conceivable. Type 3 wow. is a civilization that basically controls its whole galaxy and its energy. An that would be crazy. race this advanced would probably be godlike to us. But why should we be able to see such an alien civilization in the first place? If we were to build generation spaceships that could sustain a population for around 1,000 years, we could colonize the whole galaxy in 2 million years. Oh, wow. Sounds like a long time, but remember, the Milky Way is huge. So if it takes a couple of million years to colonize the entire galaxy, then there are possibly millions, if not billions, of planets that sustain life in the Milky Way, and these other life forms have had considerably more time than we've had, then where are all the aliens? This is the Fermi Paradox, and nobody has an answer to it. But we do have some ideas. Let's talk about filters. A filter in this context represents a barrier that is really hard for life to overcome. They come in various degrees of scary. One, hmm. there are great filters and we have passed them. Maybe hmm. it is way harder for complex life to develop than we think. The process allowing life to begin hasn't yet been completely figured out and the conditions required may be really complicated. Maybe in the past, the universe was way more hostile and only recently have things cooled down to make complex life possible. This would Facts. also mean that we may be unique or at least one of the first, if not the first, civilization in the entire universe. Two, there are great filters and they are ahead of us. This one would be really, really bad. Nuclear Maybe war. life on our level exists everywhere in the universe, but it gets destroyed when it reaches a certain point, a point that lies ahead of us. For example, awesome future technology exists, but when activated, it destroys the planet. The last words of every advanced civilization would be, this new device will solve all of our problems once I push this button. If this is true, then we are closer to the end than the beginning of human existence. Oh, or no. maybe there is an ancient Type 3 civilization that monitors the universe, and once a civilization is advanced enough, it gets eliminated in an instant. Maybe Damn. there is something out there that a That's a that's a very mean chicken there. It would be better not to <laughs> discover. There is no way for us to know. One final thought, maybe we're alone. Right now, we have no evidence that there's any life besides us. Nothing. The yeah. universe appears to be empty and dead. No one sending us messages, no one answering our calls. We may be completely alone. Trap Oh, so are they just going to ignore like I mean, I know UFO sightings are, you know, you, you can't really trust them. But there's got to be some fact to at least one of those UFO sightings. I hope in part two that they mention something like that, maybe. Or maybe this video is too complex for a UFO sighting. I don't know. But I feel like there has to be something real out there. Like something... Maybe they just don't want us to see them. I don't know. On a tiny moist mud ball in an eternal universe. Does that thought scare you? If it does, you're having the correct emotional reaction. If we let life on this planet die, perhaps there will be no life left in the universe. Life will be gone maybe forever. If this is wow. the case, we just have to venture to the stars and become the first Type 3 civilization to keep the delicate flame of life existing and to spread it until the universe breathes its final breath and vanishes into oblivion. Facts. The universe is too beautiful not to be experienced by someone. This video was made possible by your support. That was a quick one. It takes at least 200 hours to make one of our videos, and thanks to your contributions on Patreon, hours. we are slowly able to do more and more of them. I'm going to keep it right here because it has their everything right here. Actually, if you want to help us, there we go. Patreon right there. All the anime animation script sound everyone right there. Show these guys some love, man. They are an awesome team, an awesome team. 
And I hope you guys continue to support me, man. I know the energy in there right now because I'm not feeling good, but I got y'all. I got y'all. I'm trying to get to the YouTube Partner Program, 1,000 subs. I know we can do it. I know we can. With that being said, this is Alien Week. This is officially Alien Week. Everything Alien. If it ain't Alien, get up out of here. It's for next week. This week is Aliens. And that is due to one subscriber, Cobalt Fox. My guy likes aliens. I'm going to give you aliens, my brother. I hope a lot of you guys love this video. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Deuces.